Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at the 4026. This is another one of the 4000 series series chips. So it's uh, a decade counter, but it has a decoded seven segment display output as well. So we can run it with one of these little uh, seven segment displays. I've got it breadboarded up so you can have a look, but they're pretty simple. So again, very similar to the 4017 that we looked at before. We've got a clock pulse that we throw into it. And instead of having outputs zero to nine, we actually have outputs for a seven segment display and it's already decoded for us. Um, we've also got our divide by 10 output if we want it. So if we wanted to chain them together, which is what I've done here, so you can have a look. And I've hooked up the clock pulse, uh, the clock pin to a button so that we can manually trigger this. Now you don't have to do it like that. Again, it, these ones work in the megahertz range, so you can hook it up to a 555 timer or you could put it through uh, an Arduino or something like that and throw out a pulse to it so you can uh, change the display that way. So they're pretty simple little chips and really, really useful. Very cheap too, which makes them great for driving these displays. Now I have used resistors on here that just makes it a little bit more messy, unfortunately. But you can see that every time I hit the button, I'm adding one count to that decade counter now it's showing me a value of 31, but actually it doesn't actually know what that value is. The two chips are working in tandem. So every time this chip here gets to 10, it's adding one to this side. So it's using that divide by 10 output. So it looks like we have 51, but really we have five and we have one. So we can go through it pretty quick. I've debounced this button, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to go through these. But you can see you can get some pretty quick action just with a button there. And it's a very, very simple ch uh, chip to set up. I've put a little bit of decoupling on these chips just so there's no bounce or anything like that. But it's a really useful little one to drive these displays. Certainly if you didn't want to get something like a, a 74HC595 to drive them and use a lot of code, this is just pulsing. So all you need to do is tell your Arduino, your microcontroller, or even a dumb switch just to pulse every single time you wanted to count something. Now I can show you it moving a bit more quickly um, using this one hertz clock pulse, which is created from a 4060 and a 4027 JK flip-flop. So we're only using half of that flip-flop to divide this down, but we'll cover that in another video. But I just wanted to show you that you can make this display go a lot, lot faster. So if I just throw that onto the trigger, um, that's probably one, was it eight a second, something like that. Let's just try and find one that's a bit quicker. I don't know the pin out. There we go. That one's a bit quicker. So that's probably 128 a second, something like that. A little bit too fast for the camera. That one's a lot faster. And that's uh, twice a second. And if I throw it onto an output down here somewhere. And there we go, we've got once a second coming out of there. So they're really useful little chips.